Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Enshrouded, shall we? Picking up where we left off, and here's our flame altar, here's our fire, and indeed, we have a workbench. However, what we don't have is a shelter, and we don't have clothes. So there are some things that need to happen here uh, for us to get going. Actually, that was my fire. I think what happened is it burned out, so it's not a permanent fire situation. All right. So what are my quests? Well, currently, let me check the old journal. They say, find a sleeping survivor. The world is lost, but not barren. Survivors of the Shroud wait to be roused by your inner fire. I have a very strong inner fire. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the Shroud. I'm ready to go through the Shroud. So what do we need to do here? Well, at the workshop, we've got the workbench. But what else can we make here? Uh, this is just for building itself. What about crafting? Can I make... Rag armor? This would be nice. So I need string and I need torn cloth. Now I can make string, but torn cloth might be something I have to actually gather. And I don't, in my inventory, do I have any of that? I got two. Um, that now serve the scavengers as clothing. Alright. So I don't know if the scavengers are like the zombie dudes or the scavengers are me. You know, the people who are left. Either way, I'm ready to go over here. Let's see what we can gather. Are these little crystals something I can pick up? No, but this looks shrouded as all get out, and it is. So I think uh, one... I'm going to eat. So I do have... Oh, there's a... Looks like maybe there's... Yes, okay... Just like Valheim, you can get three food buffs or whatever. All right, that's cool. And I'm ready to go chomping, but we do have to worry about the shroud. That horrible shroud. Ooh, ooh. We're back in Longkeep. I got some string, metal scraps. Now you're talking. I only have five minutes in here, but... Uh, that should be enough. Now, I'm just going to test this theory out. Like, does can you break these crates and get anything other than sticks? I didn't get anything at all, so I'm just going to pretend like I didn't do that. And I'm going to follow the map. There's a light up in there. You see that orange glow? Now, I was here before. This is where I cooked the food. It looks like it's all respawned since the last time I was here, so it's nice. It kind of gives you... A little bit of extra food if you want. Now can you... Can your character just like Zelda climb the wall? It doesn't look like that's a thing. Uh, another body. I'm going to kind of try to loop around. Here we go. I really want to get to this orange. I probably already have, but... It seemed cool when I saw it from afar. Oh, I can get a shield, maybe. Now these are all busted up, broken weapons. Look at this, it's a secret door. Oh, yeah, baby. Health potion. Well... God knows I need that. All right, I'm going to put the health potion actually on the main bar. Now, the water gives you a food buff. Intelligence, health regeneration. So the fruit gives you health regeneration. This gives you constitution. This gives you endurance and stamina recharge. I should have water. I don't know which one will get overwritten, but um, 
I'm going to uh, sort my inventory. I want to move this. Uh, here we go. I push X to move it to here. And then I want to move this over here. Correct. And then I want to move my sword way over here. The bandage to the end. I don't need two torches on the hot bar. Now the crafting hammer, I guess I probably want that, but I'll just keep it on the food bar. And then I've got I've got three torches on the proverbial hot bar there. That seems excessive. Right, this looks a little bit better. There. All right, so we found that secret, but I don't know if that was the shining light that I saw. And there's a second floor here. Now, here's the light. Don't leave my side. Oh, it added a marker. This is Nobles in History, Love Letter, to Queen Jasmina. Jasmina, is it true the ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber? Will you be there when I awake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You're my all. Why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. You let me linger next to you. You held my hand. And now, all this secrecy. For what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart, Emily. Wow. All right. Look at this. This person died looking at this still life. They really... They really had good feelings about that picture. All right, this is their roof. Okay. And I can fall down. I don't know if this goes to an area that... Nah, I've already been here. But anyway... That's what they wanted us me to get. And it did mark a location, so I'm grateful for that. Uh-oh, this guy again. Oh, no, I used a bandage. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I guess I sort of needed to heal. My goal here was to attack with the sword, but it wasn't equipped. I think when I rearranged my inventory in the pause menu, that happened. You see all this ore here on the wall. I wonder if I can gather that. In, in any meaningful way. All right, this guy's here. He telegraphed his slash pretty nicely. There we go. There's that torn cloth. Oh, here's another item that's marked. This is falling to ruin. Long keep. We held out hope, digging through the rubble. Our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye toward the horizon. Even in this furthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with that cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on Howling Pike, we pushed harder. May this home, long kept, usher us into that bright age. Cool. All right, um... I'm in the shroud, so I gotta pay attention to that. Music is great. And the, you know, kind of like fungal business of the shroud is... Oh boy, okay. Yeah, there's a nice little combat roll that you have. I should have locked my target on that guy a little bit faster, and I didn't, and um, I paid the price. Did you drop any loot? You did. There's that torn cloth. Alright, I'm gonna go make some armor. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do we have here? We found the basement. The shroud looms. Now, I hope my timer isn't ticking down while this is happening. It might. The blue jays are no longer drift so carelessly through the air. Something is changing. A nebula flows towards us, springs from the abyss like a tidal wave. They call it the shroud. It carries disease and suffering changes soil and people. I must understand this madness, but discovering a remedy will be difficult with supply lines cut off by the soldiers. So here's the scribe, or the scholar, Balthazar's notes. And there's some luminescent mushrooms here. And I'm in the shroud, and um... What is this thing? I broke it. Um... 
I need a lockpick. It's like, I feel like I'm taking extra shroud damage when I'm over there, but I could be wrong about that. Let me get my torch. Uh, we got some... Oops. Take that. Oh, dismantle, I guess. And we got books and strings. Oh, I can just dismantle these books. Maybe to place in my own house. Maybe they're just decorative. I need a lockpick. So I need to be able to make lockpicks to get this. Which, you know, I can't do. And I need to get out of the shroud. Because uh, time is ticking. We made it out. Alright, I'm going to quickly run back to my house. Oh, what's the little purple thing? Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. So I'm going to scoop it. And... Okay, we're collecting water, which is great. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to actually drink this and see what happens. Okay, I, I lost one of my buffs, but I do get the benefit of the water, which helps my stamina regenerate faster, which is incredible. Alright. Can I break this and, like, get, you know, anything? Ah, uh, just some wood. Okay. Where's my house? Now, this is my altar, but I wonder if, like... Alright, um, let me craft and repair. And I'd like to make... Alright. Oh, here's a lockpick right here. I need metal scraps. I have one. So we want to work up toward getting that. Now, I don't know if I can disassemble stuff here. I could make a bow, which is pretty sweet. But I definitely want to make these rags. The club... is not much better than anything else. Here, here we go. Here's a pickaxe. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for. I didn't have this before. I'll make some string. I could make a shield. Uh, Alright, let me see here. So, I've got a ragged shirt. I'm going to equip this. And I'm going to equip this shield. Then, uh, my pickaxe went down here. I'm just going to swap it like that. Wonderful. Oh my god, look at me now. Look at me now. I got a shirt on. Loving it. Alright. So let me see if I use my pickaxe. Um, I can certainly mine this to get a bunch of stone. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I love that. And I'm just going to collect that plant fiber. Collect that plant fiber. Great. Uh, there's a dead animal there. Well, I mean, I guess that helps me out. Get some st stuff there. But, you know, I need those metal scraps. I don't think that just mining ore, that doesn't intuitively make me feel like I'm about to get metal scraps. But, you know... Maybe so. Maybe if I fight more enemies, I can get some metal scraps. Or, perhaps I need to dismantle stuff in the long keep to find that. I think I did a reasonable job of exploring long keep. Let me, uh, let me check in on the map. What is this? This is long keep. Here's my house. Here's the cinder vault. And then I think they, they want me to go over here. Look at this banner. You know, maybe I didn't do as good of a job as I thought. Because I don't remember going in this house or anything. Alright, nice. I'm in. I'm going to get my sword out just in case there's baddies. Uh, now, I'm, you can get like a grappling hook, I swear. But I don't have it right now. So I can't really climb up there. I'm not Ezio just yet. Hey everybody, Dr. Incompetent here, and I wanted to interrupt the video for a moment to talk about Powder, which is a service you can use as a content creator to 
automatically clip your streams and long form content and turn it into either vertical capture short form stuff so you can you know post TikTok or post YouTube shorts and it does this using AI to kind of detect loudness spikes in your voice or you can search for a particular keyword and some games it even has integration to look for certain moments that are epic so that you don't have to spend your time sifting through your big stream you can just have this thing automatically load out many many moments that it has found and it rates them based on how exciting it feels it is and i've been trying it and am really impressed with how quickly it works and how seamlessly you can take a clip and turn it into vertical format so i'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to check out more about powder so use the link below if you want to check out powder everyone thank you and back to the video Alright, um, so I feel like let's just do the main quest and see what we can find along the way. There's a stone quarry here. Now, if I find a metal scrap, you'd better believe I'm going to be going to make a lockpick and just see what's in that treasure chest because, uh... You know, I'm, I'm sure it's not great, but let me see something really fast. What do I get from this stone? Just regular stone. But what's cool is, you know, it's like Valheim. Like, I'm, you see the circle here that's blue. I'm destroying the environment. It's not like it just has hit points and then it just breaks apart. Like, it's, you could intentionally carve a path like this. Let me check something in my backpack. It's okay. There, it, there does not appear to be any weight. All I see currently is uh, squares in your backpack, which I love. And we'll just climb up here. Treasure. Got some bandages. Thank God. I used my one bandage by accident. Ooh, there was there was some stuff in there. There was some string. That's tremendous. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go down this way. This looks like a grappling hook point. Like, if I have one, I could just shoot it and be up there. I'm, I'm not sure about that, but my instincts tell me that that is what that is. But I don't... So then maybe the grappling hook isn't like in Power World where you can use it wherever you like. Either way, that's fine. All right. Uh, that appears to be maybe where they... Well, no, this is where they want me to go. Alright. Ooh, there's a little camp down here. Let's see if there's any people living. Alright. So, in a spot like this, I could sleep here. Um, but there's no warmth. I do wonder, like, if I just break this stuff what do i oh i didn't mean to sleep oh my god yeah what i'm trying to do is loot here we go yeah i found some water okay that's pretty reasonable got some string a little bit of wood and we got water we got cloth okay so you can break apart just random stuff and sometimes you get things like stone and logs Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I have ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. Wooden arrow and health potion. You know it. All right, I should make a bow at this point. Let's see if I can get some metal if I break these apart. It would be awesome. I did not. Maybe you need to break it apart, like, with a different tool to get 
a different result. See, there's some stuff in here. Yeah, I got some water. I mean, there's nothing wrong with water. I'm not unhappy, but I'm not excited. All right, what's this? Got some another note here. Torch. Captain's Journal, Day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and with it our connection to supplies, but it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkwright. So, I'm wondering, like, maybe it's obvious... This is all great stuff. Potion, bandage, arrows. This is the bridge that they destroyed. You can see right there, it's been blown apart. And they were protecting us, like me, because I was in the cinder vault sleeping. So they died so that we might live. It's interesting. It's uh, terrible for them. Good for me. All right, let's see. All right, this is like big time shroud section. I'm going to go ahead and restore my food buffs before I go in here. It's a little scary. All food slots occupied. I'm going to refresh this. I want to get my mushroom out of here and get the berries because the berries provide health regeneration. Stay on the path. Lest the Shroud's kin take you. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get a torch out. Salvation lies straight ahead. Alright. So some somebody told me that it li lies straight ahead. There are lights, which is quite useful. Um, I'm going to break apart just everything that I find. Hoping to get supplies. Uh, wooden logs are okay, but... Oh god. It's you. So I'm just kind of testing out my shield. Stun lock that guy. You notice um, this hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. Oh, that's cool. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. All right. It's kind of like the oxygen plants. Oh, God. What happened to me there? It blew up. And there's like a blue death aura around it. Okay. That's not good. It, ooh, a ring. Whoa, this ring is amazing. Eight stamina and ten health. Heck yeah. Put it on, dude. It reminds me of those plants in Subnautica Below Zero that just, like, you know, restore your oxygen, but they... You can't pick them up. They're just in the environment. So... I'm going to wait as long as I can before I have to use that and gather as much material here at this campsite as possible. We're getting a lot of good cloth, which I, you know, I like. I'm looking for metal, but maybe that is something you have to mine. It just said metal scraps, though, so I was kind of like, that seems to me to be broken bits and not metal ore. There we go. Got some cloth, got some string. Metal scraps times two. I just got some. I'm about to explode with joy. However, I don't know if there's fast travel in this, so I I don't think I can rightly just teleport back there, open the chest, make the lock picks. I don't know, too, if I could just throw down a, uh, a workbench right here or if I have to be within my build zone. I'm going to go ahead and um, restore time. All right, and keep going forward. I'm going to run. Seems like a smart thing to do. Oh, good. Uh, actually, let me get these berries going. Get my new food buff up. There's our health regenerating. We're regenerating, like, beyond our max health from the bonus health we gained from our food, which is sweet. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Ooh, what's this? Ice Bolt. 
staff charges magical ammunition that creates a single bolt of ice. Now, this is the magic that's in the game. I want this, but I don't have a staff. So, um, I'll just have to kind of, like, patiently wait for that to happen to see how that plays out. All right. Nails. All right, I could take a shortcut and run down that way. There's lamps everywhere here. I mean, I'm obviously in the shroud. Let me just kind of look around for one moment. I don't think I want to go this way. But is there an hourglass down here at this campsite? That would be very helpful. Oh my god, this is the same campsite. Oh, woe is me. I, I completely got lost my orientation. Okay, well, at least I know not to explore there. Alright, let's go in here. It says the path and stay straight ahead. Maybe I got tricked. Mm, I'm not liking how this is turning out. I think I, I'm, I'm going off the path and getting looped around. But let's see if I can try a different direction. Alright, I need some new food. All right, let's go torch it. Alright, let's go up. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. I'm not the brightest flame-born dude in the world. And now we're out of the shroud, which is great. All right. Okay. We made some good progress. We made it out of that nightmare. Oh, here's another campsite. Ooh, they've got a fire. Let's rest and uh, get the bonus here. Comfort level two. We're not getting warmth here. Actually, I have an idea. Can I light? This fire is lit, but it's not close enough. Spectacular progress is being made. This is from the General Bridge Construction Report. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. Nice job. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for minerals and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon, after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though, if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered, for her and the bridge share not just a name, but a brash nature. Okay. Signed, Cade Hawthorne. Well, Cade. It's becoming daytime again. There's... Looks like a wolf or something running around, chasing a... bit of wildlife. So if I, let me go crafting and say, can I make a, this is handcraft, so can I just make a campfire? It's in my inventory. And then, let me place this campfire Oh, campfire. Oh, no, it went to my hot bar already. Okay, I was going to say, where'd you go? Here you are. All right. I'm going to put it right next to the bed. And uh, I'm going to now sleep. So we get the rested bonus of a bunch of extra stamina, it looks like. And, boy, I'm really chilling there. I don't know. I can't really sleep with my leg up like that, personally. But... 
maybe that's or with my hands behind my head like that necessarily but maybe that's just chilling and not sleeping either way we are doing amazing work here i can cook some more food if i want to uh like you know we can just go ahead and you know cook this right here so hold the cook and then we just release to finish cook it All right. I can just cook this whole stack by holding it, I suppose. No, I can't. I got some tar. You can't just keep holding it down and, like, move to the next one. You have to let go, and then it goes into the cook stack, and then... Good way to get tar. Awesome. Oh my goodness, I meant to cancel and I did a dive almost through the fire. I live dangerously. So, everyone, we are doing really, really well here. And I'm pumped about our progress in Enshrouded. I have a shirt, which is a big win. And we're making our way toward a, a person that, or something that we can wake up and find some company in this lonely world. I hope you all are enjoying this game as much as I am. I'm really impressed by this so far and having a great time. And I will check you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.